The term ball clay originates from the early method of mining, when the clay was cut from the ground in cubes. Due to their plasticity and after being handled several times, the cubes often turned into balls as the corners were knocked off, leading the early potters to refer to this plastic white firing clay as ball clay. The best deposits of ball clay in the world are located in the southwest and south of England, in the counties of Devon and Dorset. Clays from this region are renowned for their unique rheological properties, and this rare combination of strength, plasticity, rheology and whiteness means they are used extensively in the manufacture of ceramic items such as sanitary ware, tableware, floor and wall tiles and electrical porcelain. The ball clay deposits can be found in three areas, the Petroxdo Basin in North Devon, the Bovey Basin in South Devon and the Wareham Basin in Dorset. English ball clay is derived from the subtropical weathering and decomposition of rocks such as shale, sandstone, granite and chalk some 40 to 50 million years ago. Ball clay is always a secondary sedimentary material formed from parent rock in one geographical area which is then transported by water to another area before building up as a deposit. These deposits have been worked since the mid-16th century. Today, Imrus obtains its ball clays from all three deposits, supplying fine grain plastic materials for the production of a wide range of ceramic applications. Ball clay production is a complex and cost-intensive operation. Imrus uses its in-depth knowledge and mining expertise to ensure the optimum use of this outstanding mineral resource. The production process starts with open-cast mining. After the topsoil and other surface material have been removed, layers of raw clay interspersed with waste material are exposed. Raw component clays are selectively mined at the pit by mechanical excavator. This is carried out according to the production plan requirements, which are based on the specification for each blend of clays. A specialist knowledge of the different clays in the deposit allows the highly skilled mobile plant operator to select the different seams of clay with great accuracy. The individual component clays are then transported to a central processing plant where they are stored in individual bays awaiting blending. For example, Imrus's high-class VC ball clay is made from 16 different component clays sourced from many different quarries. The blend comprises 45 parts which are subdivided into three sub-blends. These sub-blends are shredded and then fed through a paddle mixer which mixes the final product. This production route is designed to give a high level of uniformity, ensuring that each consignment from a production batch is the same as the next. This state-of-the-art recipe confers outstanding properties to high-cast VC that ceramic manufacturers love, making it one of Imrisi's best-selling products. The shredded and mixed blend is then stockpiled to await dispatch or further processing. Quality control is of prime importance throughout all stages of the production process, which is accredited to the ISO 9001-2000 Quality Assurance Standard. Full testing on a range of properties and characteristics is carried out to ensure that products conform to specification before being released for dispatch. All our products are backed by the highest standards of technical support and customer service. Imaris uses its extensive research and development expertise to develop new blends for both conventional and pressure casting of vitreous and fine fire clay sanitary ware. It is constantly looking to expand its range of products to meet the growing and complex requirements of its customers. Most of Imaris's ball clays are sold in shredded form, but facilities also exist for further processing options of which the most common is milling, where the clay is first dried and then broken down into powder form. The Imrus ball clays that undergo further processing are either bagged using the fully automated bagging system or packaged in intermediate bulk containers of varying sizes. Bulk 
clay is loaded and transported by road, either direct to customers or to the port where it is loaded into the ship's hold. Our bore clays are also transported via containers. Imaris takes its environmental responsibilities very seriously and is fully committed to restoring the natural balance to the surroundings in which it operates. Its environmental policy is backed up by extensive training and considerable investment. In Cornwall, Imaris's heathland and woodland restoration projects have been recognised with awards for these fine examples of environmental improvement, including the prestigious Flora Locale Award for its heathland project in 2006. This recognised the contribution that the project had made to biodiversity using local native flora. Imaris Minerals Limited also participates in the UK Greenhouse Gas Emissions Trading Scheme and conducted the world's first trade within this scheme when it sold its 1,000 carbon credits allowance to BP in 2002. The Ball Clays operation participates in a climate change agreement with the UK government, whereby Imaris pays only 20% of the climate change levy in return for a commitment to improve its energy efficiency by 1% annually. Imaris's ceramics business is truly global and in addition to our bull clay products, we offer an extensive product portfolio of high quality kaolins, feldspars, shamots and prepared bodies from our operations all over the world.